All right, now I'm adjusted. Hey, everyone, it's Akayani Chamberlain for The Living Connection. How are you this week? Happy Fall Equinox. You'll notice that on uh, the Facebook page, The Living Connection, with yours truly, I've posted a lot of information, a couple of articles about buying local. Buying local, this is something that is on a lot of people's minds right now, and a lot of you are taking action going out there and starting community gardens or CSAs, uh, going to your farmer's market. This is really the best way to control our food supply, to form relationships, and to also ensure financial stability for our farmers because, of course, without farmers, we don't have any food. So if you're not sure what a CSA is, please look at the article on my Facebook page called Buy Local. Briefly, in a nutshell, it's called it means community sustainable agriculture. So you form a relationship with a farmer or maybe several farmers. They deliver once a week, maybe your community center, your church basement. Um, and that ensures that they have enough money to plant and for their labor. And it ensures that you get fresh produce. And so speaking of produce, I just wanted to highlight some awesome produce I found this past weekend in the McCarran Farmers Market, which is also in my neighborhood. I'm very lucky. I'm spoiled. I have two, not one. And this is celery root. Very kind of strange looking, but delicious when you mash it up. And this is parsley root. And you can bake this, or you can also peel. It's kind of like an oversized carrot. Um, You'll recognize the leaves. See? There's parsley right there. So this makes a delicious fall dish. Uh, you can use Yukon gold potatoes, for example. Those are excellent for mashing. They've got an, a nice flavor to them. What you do with the celiac, or that's what you call it in French, or the celery root, is that you take this. It's a little arduous. You want to cut this off. You want to cut off the knobs. It kind of looks like an alien. And, but then you chop it up and then you boil it for a little while until it becomes tender in salted water. And then you're going to add that to your soft potatoes that you're going to turn into a mash. And with these, you know, you can slice these in half, you can peel them, you can slice these in half, and you can bake them, and you can take that all together and make the mash. So this is one of the cool things that you're going to find in a, a local place to shop for your fresh produce that you're not necessarily going to find in the supermarket. Um, also, the melons are gone. The melons are gone. So if you didn't get them two weeks ago, boo-hoo. However, there's still some grapes left, but don't delay. Uh, and also, there are some plums. The other thing that I also posted this week is about how to keep your sexy. How to keep your sexy on, because you worked really hard to get the weight off for the summer, but you don't want to fall into temptation. So there's another article posted about that as well. You'll also notice that I changed the banner on the Facebook page. It says Fall into Sanse. That's the skincare line from USANA Health Sciences that I distribute and that I use myself. Thank you, everyone, for all your compliments about my skin. It just keeps... Uh, <laughs> getting better and better. As you know, I'm 52. So like my grandfather, I do use olive oil uh, on my skin. Olive oil will prevent you from wrinkling. However, um, I also use this product line because it's pure botanical, it's non-GMO, uh, and it's got a lot of wonderful things in it like grapeseed extract, um, aloe, you know, the hydrating to toner is aloe-based instead of alcohol-based because alcohol is very drying to the skin. So everything about the line not only uh, cleanses, but it also nourishes. So you always want to make sure that you cleanse your skin, you nourish your skin. It's important to exfoliate your skin. Uh, you don't want to, of course, exfol exfoliate your skin to the point of redness. We don't want that. I use their uh, gentle rice bran polisher that's got papaya and koi koi nut oil in it. So while I'm cleansing, I'm also rehydrating because as we get older, for most of us, our skin dries out. And what about the guys? Guys, you can use this stuff too. It's great. So you can use a gentle daily cleanser to wash your face. You can use the uh, rice bran polisher to exfoliate and to avoid getting 
you know, ingrown hairs and also cut yourself when you're shaving. You know, you don't want that. So this is a great way also to make the, um, the hair stand up and also get a nice smooth complexion because sometimes you'll see guys have got kind of, they look kind of gray um, and that's dead skin that's on the surface of the skin and then after you shave instead of using a uh, aftershave lotion that is full of alcohol and that stings like heck just use the hydrating toner you moisten a cotton ball and use the hydrating toner it will close your pores and it will give your skin uh, a nice glow um, if you have oily skin, sometimes guys have a tendency to have oily skin, there's also another product in the line and that is the Serum Intensive. It's hyaluronic acid and that is a great thing to put on to help control the oil and moisture in your skin. Remember your skin is a reflection of the health of your body. So even if you are using a lot of creams and lotions and you feel like your skin is still dried out, um, you might want to see are you getting enough omega-3 fatty acids, are you getting enough omega-3 and enough sixes. Uh, if you don't have that, your skin is always going to be dry. The other thing you want to make sure is that you have enough magnesium. I know I talk about this a lot, but magnesium is extremely important for the skin. At a time when I didn't realize this, um, I actually broke out in pussy sores all over my body from my head to my toe, yes, ladies and gentlemen, and it was not fun at all. So you want to make sure that you have adequate trace minerals uh, like magnesium and selenium, um, iodine, zinc, all those things. So ladies and gentlemen, if you take the true health assessment by going to my website, that's my name, Ekayani, E-K-A-Y-A-N-I dot USANA, U-S-A-N-A dot com. You can take the true health assessment and see what it uh, is that you may require to have optimal health, not just dragging by, but optimal health so you can be radiant and energetic as I am. And also, we have something called the Beauty Edition of the My Health Pack. So the Beauty Edition has got a lot of good stuff in it for you. It has the basics, the essentials, so it has your bees and it has your trace minerals. It also has the Procosa, which is the vegetarian plant-based uh, Procondoitrin product. Not only good for your joints, but also good for your skin because it helps promote collagen as well as the Proflavanol C, as well as the Biomega. So take a look at that. So that's what I got for you um, this week. As you know, I'm leaving next, uh, well, as you know, next week, I'm having my farewell party at Much Moore's in Brooklyn to Havemeyer Street in Williamsburg from 7 to 9. The admission for that is only $10. If you look on the Facebook page again, that's posted as an event. Uh, there's going to be some great vegan snacks there. Also, there's a rumor that a certain friend who owns a wonderful chocolate shop is going to bring some chocolate treats for you. Uh, there's going to be a screening. It's sure to be a, a wonderful, lovely, and, of course, sentimental evening. And do take care, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye now.